We take a look at the top 10 most amazing and real micro robots in production today. At number 10, the Arius drone. About the same size as a quarter, this amazing quadcopter can fly 7 minutes, do automatic flips, and has 6 axis gyro stabilization. It flies on the common 2.4 GHz range, and the drone fits right inside the controller to recharge. On top of that, it's only $35 from the Axis Drones website. That's number 9, Robobee. For over a decade, Harvard University has been working on several tiny flying robots, including Robobee. Although the current version still has a tethered power supply, the Robobee is only 3 centimeters across and is one of the smallest flying robots. Creators are hoping to use the bot for pollination, search and rescue, and even surveillance missions in the future. At number 8, the Festo Ant. A technological replica of a natural ant, piezo actuator legs, and jaw bring this marvel to life. The ants use a 3D stereo camera for gripping objects and an optical sensor for moving. Multiple ants can work together and be used to complete complex tasks through networking. The ants are powered by a 3D electrical board, which is also created by a unique build process. At number 7, the Water Strider Bot. Many robotic versions have been developed around insects which can walk on water. But just recently, Seoul University has built a strider which can jump 6 inches off the surface of water and stay afloat. It weighs only 68 milligrams and maximizes surface tension to mimic its real-life counterpart. At number 6, Micro Tug. Built by Stanford University, this bot is ultra strong and mobile and it can tow objects over 2,000 times its own weight. It uses micro cohesive hair so that it can even pull objects up walls. That's pretty impressive considering that's kind of like a human pulling 200 tons. One day, powerful micro tugs can find jobs lifting heavy loads in factories or even construction sites. At number 5, SRI bots. Controlled through magnetic fields, micro bots can go up to 35 centimeters a second and even climb up walls. Large groups can be used to build complex objects such as high quality parts, electronics, and even be used for inspecting equipment. At number 4, Origami Robots. Created by MIT, this bot self-assembles through a heating process and then can run, carry objects, and even swim. Even though the bot has to be remotely controlled by magnetic fields, it will likely be automated in the future. The bots will likely be used for inspection in small areas such as pipelines or even machinery. At number 3, Starfish Bots. These really cool bots can be less than a millimeter across and are used for biopsies in patients. The starfish can respond through variations in temperature, pH, and even enzyme levels. Groups of starfish can be used for screening, and successful trials have already been conducted for detecting cancers. At number 2, Microscallops. Being just a little bit bigger than a strand of hair, these microbots can move through body fluids and have the potential to deliver medicines and even repair damaged cells. The shell operates similar to a real-life clam, and it moves by opening and contracting and is controlled by an external magnetic field. The robotic scallops are likely to be used for research and help advance nanobot delivery technologies. That's number one, micromotor powered nanobots built by the University of California. Propelled by gas bubbles and only being a few micrometers long, these bots have already delivered a nanoparticle compound in a live mouse without side effects. Being the first self-propelled microbot, it is a huge technological breakthrough. Nanobots can eventually be used for eliminating cancers, viruses, and even repair damaged cells. Nanobots have the potential to restore memories, instantly heal injuries, and even regrow limbs. In about 50 years, people may even have the choice to be immortal, which is cool, but it's kind of scary at the same time. So once again, thanks for watching my short video, and please subscribe to my channel.